he become normal when you do shahada after the wudu. La ilaha illa Muhammad But the stuff like these movements, what they really represent is activating the energy of Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, by rubbing water and air. So Prophet Muhammad said, "Will do rub water and air. This creates energy." So sila is not a form, it's a form of moving with energy, for example. Just like Hadra. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. It's better than going. Oh, uh, 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 uh. That's where I came from. Donkeys. From donkey. And it's a hoo hi. So, Zika, hoo hi. You can sign it aloud. And these movements are actually very effective in combat, you know? So how can you put the wudu, the energy of the wudu, into a combat? This, this is what Sila is about, it's the combat art, but it's, it's the art of love. It means that when you do Sila and you apply it, no violence must be in your heart, no violence must be in your feeling. You have to have totally salam. Like when you say salam alaikum, salam alaikum, that's how you've got to feel when you do see that, like Salah, with Zikr. You've got to kill the brother with love, basically, you know. <laughs> First you hormat salam, hormat means respect with salam. Then you meded, meded, destul. Then Imran will strike me, for example. The basic blocks. Another strike. Some more advanced strikes are like this. Even though they look a bit dangerous sometimes, but there's no bad intention. It's pure mahabba. And it's controlled. Yeah. And there, there's another, that's called boa. Boa means the fruit falls from the tree. So when the fruit, fruit falls, it doesn't expect like, you're going to catch me. Or So one submits, the fruit submits and the person takes. So one does something, the other one submits. The next stage is when the people improve, they got to move in harmony together. This is why Imran is learning this. So when you learn this knowledge, you're not meant to use your mind, you're meant to use your heart. So you don't think, because you don't know what's going to happen. Because everything other makes it happen. So if you use your mind, you're going to get stuck, thinking you need to do this and you need to do that. When you don't use your mind, whatever the person does to you, you, you can just, like a leaf that falls from the tree, you just let go and it all happens. It's naturally by Allah. So we need to, we need to relax, we need to accept everything. That's not acceptance because you feel like you need to run away because you feel like you need to block. Acceptance is you attack me.
You're not really doing anything for me. BJJ. Stop, brother. Joking, yeah, stop. Yeah, sorry.